Welcome to the Thursday edition of Market Mantra, the program in which we give you a complete update on the economic, business and stock market news of the day. My name is Rajesh Lake and with me is my co-anchor in Hindi, Vishal Sharma. Namaskar, Karikram Market Mantra mein aap sabhi ka swagat. Aadhe ghante ke is Karikram mein laayenge aap tak desh aur dunia se aarthik vyaparik aur share bazaar ke taata samachar saath hi un par charcha bhi karenge. Charcha ke liye aaj studio mein amantrit hain Business Standard ke Editorial Director A.K. Bhattacharya. Bhattacharya ji namaskar, Karikram mein aapka swagat. Namaskar. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Sab se pehle headlines ke saath hai Rajesh Lekh. As the stock market sends it slides 879 points, nifty drops. 245 points listed companies employ a record 10 million employees in 2021-22 shows cmie's survey an axis bank raises fixed deposit interest rates across all maturities for amounts up to 2 crore rupees प्रमुख घरेलू शेयर बाजारों में गिरावट सेंसेक्स 879 अंक लुढ़का निफ्टी 245 अंक फिसला CMIE के सर्वेक्षण के अनुसार लिस्टेड कंपनियों ने वर्ष 2021-22 में रिकॉर्ड एक करोड़ नौकरियां दी और एक्सिस बैंक ने दो करोड़ रुपए तक की सावधि जमाओं पर ब्याज दरें बढ़ाई कार्यक्रम की शुरुआत शेयर बाजार से प्रमुख घरेलू शेयर बाजार आज भारी गिरावट के साथ बंद हुए बॉम्बे स्टॉक एक्सचेंज का सेंसेक्स आठ अंक लुढ़ककर 1.4 प्रतिशत के नुकसान से इकसठ पर बंद हुआ नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज का निफ्टी भी 245 अंक फिसलकर 1.3 प्रतिशत नीचे 18,415 पर आ गया व्यापक बाजार में बीएसई मिड कैप इंडेक्स में एक दशमलव एक प्रतिशत की गिरावट दर्ज हुई और स्मॉल कैप इंडेक्स शून्य दशमलव छह प्रतिशत के नुकसान के साथ बंद हुआ एट द स्टॉक मार्केट द सेंसेक्स एट द बॉम्बे स्टॉक एक्सचेंज एट हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन पॉइंट और वन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट टू क्लोज एट सिक्सटी द निफ्टी एट द नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज स्लिप्ड 245 हंड्रेड पॉइंट्स और 1.3 परसेंट टू एटीन इन द ब्रॉडर मार्केट द बीएसई मिड कैप इंडेक्स डिक्लाइंड 1.1 परसेंट एंड द स्मॉल कैप इंडेक्स फेल 0.6 परसेंट एट द सेक्ट्रल इंडसेज एंडेड लोअर विद द आईटी इंडेक्स लीडिंग द फॉल स्लिपिंग 2.1 परसेंट The tech index lost 1.9 percent. The metal index dropped 1.8 percent. The consumer durable index declined 1.4 percent. The realty index slid 1.3 percent. The commodities, the banking, the capital goods, and the financial services slipped 1.2 percent each. The industrial index declined 1.1 percent. The FMCG index fell 1 percent. The consumer discretionary index lost. 0.9 percent and the telecom index dropped 0.8 percent. The auto index ended 0.7 percent lower. The power index slid 0.6 percent and the utilities and the healthcare index shed 0.5 percent each. AKB. So all the sectors, all the sectoral indices were lower today. And we, as we were talking, uh, the the uh, the uh, the uh, the index where um, our positivity is quite yeah. low, that also was today reflecting 6.6 percent, if I'm not uh, yeah. wrong, somewhere yeah. lower. Absolutely. Mm. You know, I mean, uh, as you uh, beautifully recounted. uh there was not uh, an index that did not see a decline it was a, it was truly a broad based decline story in the indian stock markets uh there are two quick uh you know uh, points that i would like to make in response to your uh, assessment of the markets number one uh, is uh, uh the indian stock markets had risen to uh, uh, high levels of 62000 sensex and stayed there for some time and it was making some marginal adjustments here and there 
Uh, what we are seeing today is uh, um, uh, the markets, probably market participants, are some sort of taking positions uh, for uh, the uh, developments that will take place in the next eight to ten weeks. Uh, and I'm referring to the budget that is going to be presented on 1st February. Uh, some sort of profit booking, some, talk, some sort of uh, repositioning yourself. Uh, uh, quite a few IPOs are going to hit the markets. Uh, so the market participants are also uh, preparing themselves uh, by booking profits and so that they can take part in those IPOs. Uh, so that is one uh, kind of development that has imp probably has impacted the market today. The second one, uh, which is obvious, but uh, it played a bigger role, uh, was the surprise element in what happened to uh, in the in the U.S. Uh, the Fed. Uh, there was that narrative that was gaining ground that probably Mr. Jerome Powell uh, would not go in for the kind of increase that. Uh, he had indicated earlier, so the trajectory uh, of the increase in the in the, in the repo rate in the in the in the the Fed rates uh, would probably slow down a bit. But what he announced uh, and the increase that came about uh, was actually uh, it went to uh, uh, a 15-year high interest rate of 4.5%. Uh, and uh, the expectation from the Fed is that the uh, interest rates will keep rising and by the time 2023 ends, it may well go up to 5.1% or so. Now, if that is the kind of trajectory, uh, so clearly uh, the the dollars, the, the FPIs, uh, lure for the American markets uh, will, will remain uh, unchecked. Uh, coinciding with that, even the Bank of England increased its rates. So there is uh, a, a, a trend that is uh, uh, evident. The international markets are continuing to raise rates at a decent uh, peg, decent rate, whereas the central bank here has slowed down the the pace of increase. Uh, so there is a strong possibility of money going out of the Indian stock markets and take full adv advantage of the markets there and get higher returns uh, in those uh, uh, territories. So both these factors have contributed uh, to what happened in the markets today, a 1.4% fall, and if you go by the Sensex. One final point, uh, the, the international developments uh, are probably uh, transitory in a sense over the six months or five months uh, they will level out uh, but the development that is uh, are the, the domestic markets uh, they uh, indicate uh, that the stock markets will continue to look for new triggers uh, new um, uh, impulses uh, whether it is in terms of policies or whether in terms of the budget uh, short point is a budget will be an event that will be keenly watched by those who are uh, dabbling in the Indian stock market. It could be the end of the geopolitical tension. Absolutely. That could be the biggest trigger. Well, you know, uh, I think uh, that is a hope that the most people have given up because nobody is now saying that the geopolitical tensions triggered by the, uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine uh, is going to end soon. What people are now um, betting on is that this will be a low intensity, in, you know, low intensity war that will go on for about eight months, nine months, so one year. Just, just the way the market is factoring that in, yeah. you know, why is it the market's not factoring in the hawkish stance of the U.S.? You and I were discussing about it a while back, and it, uh, uh, you have something to say about uh, it. Yes, you know, wh what is happening is uh, that uh, the, the, the markets uh, are probably uh, hoping against hope uh, that there will be, uh, uh, you know, a uh, slowdown in the, in the, in the, in the trajectory or, or the pace of increases, particularly by the Fed, because very often uh, you do keep uh, reading the Western commentary uh, on 
on the on the on the state of the economies in the US and in the developed markets in Europe and in England that uh, inflation is coming under control the recession will be there but it will not be a very deep recession it will be a short lived recession uh, so there are there are those signs of hope that come and ignite uh, confidence in the indian stock market players and that is why you see uh, that desire on the part of uh, the indian uh, stock market participants and stakeholders to go and and a uh, hope that things will turn out better uh, having said that let me say that uh, the decline uh, may sound way way high at 899 points or 878 points mm. but in terms of percentage it is just 1.4% so probably it is finding its true level and even the resistance level has has is is a little lower than what uh, that both the nifty and the sensex is today ji but ajar ji kendriya bank duniya bhar ke byaj dar badha rahe hain abhi bhi aise mein jo fpi hain unka rujhan gharelu bazaron ki agar hum baat kare to us taraf kis tarike ka rujhan dekhne ko mil sakta hai fpi jo hain wo uh, apne returns ki chinta karte hain uh, wo agar dekhte hain ki agar western markets mein developed markets mein उनको पैसा सेफ एंड सिक्योर वे से वो पैसा वहां से आ रहा है उनका रिटर्न तो वो पैसा वहां पे लेके वो वहां पे निवेश करेंगे तो यहां पे उनका करने का जो जो ग्रोथ का जो 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 स्कोप इस मार्केट से है और उस मार्केट में उनका जो सिक्योर रिटर्न जो आ रहे हैं जो डेट मार्केट से वहां पे तो वो वहां पे पैसे थोड़े बहुत ले जाएंगे और वही हो रहा है इसीलिए अभी तक अभी तक आपने देखा है बीच में फॉरेन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टमेंट्स की डेली जो इनफ्लो आ रही थी वो पॉजिटिव टेरिटरी में आ रही थी कई काफी दिन बट आज और कल में आपने देखा है ये वो फिर वो पैसे वापस ले जाने की दैट ट्रेंड वो उसमें दिख रहा है ये सिलसिला जारी रह सकता है रह सकेगा जब तक न हमें वेस्टर्न मार्केट की क्लैरिटी आएगी कि अगर अभी भी इन्फ्लेशन वहां पे काफी हाई है यूएस मार्केट में या डेवलप्ड मार्केट में इंग्लैंड में बोलिए यूरो में बोलिए तो अभी भी इन्फ्लेशन काफी है और वहां पे डिबेट ये नहीं है कि ग्रोथ को बढ़ाना है डिबेट ये है किस तरह से इन्फ्लेशन को काबू लाए और कल भी जब जेरोम पाउल का एक स्टेटमेंट था उन्होंने कहा था कि मेरी अभी भी मैं मेरी आंखें उसी में तैनात हैं जो मैं ये देख कैसे देखूं कि यूएस का इन्फ्लेशन दो प्रतिशत में कैसे वापस आए और इस वक्त यूएस का इन्फ्लेशन काफी ऊपर है सात प्रतिशत के करीब है सो पुटिंग एवरीथिंग इन नक्शल टू वॉट यू सेड द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ लॉन्गर रेट हाइक बाय द यूएस फेड weekly fno expiry was another reason why yeah. we we uh, uh, saw the, uh, the the markets going down weakness uh, in the us futures what about the technical view what about the uh, uh, nifty failing to provide a close above the peak of a large bearish candle mm -hmm. which was formed of uh, december 9 is this one of the reasons also why well you know i mean uh, you know technical uh, and analyst uh, have a, have a reasons to give uh, this assessment uh, and uh, but then it's is a is a technical analysis which uh, you know is like uh, the economists analyzing the state of the economy uh, so a technical analysis is uh, is probably helps you understand the the longer term trajectory and the and the character of the market uh, but from the domestic investors point of view and the other foreign portfolio point of investors point of view what is very clear is that the clarity on which way the economy and the, and the and the earnings will move uh, that is not very not very clearly visible even if we look at the earnings growth for the corporate sector uh they have been clear signs of some sort of a deceleration income growth has come down for the corporates the margins for the banks have come down uh so so there is a sense that uh, the stock market is waiting to, to for the next policy trigger uh which can take it to 
the next level. So the volatility index will, that we were talking about will, will continue. Will continue. However, there is a um, another side of it. People are saying that even though it's been hovering at lower levels for for the past two months or so, because of which you know it wasn't there earlier, we were doing pretty well. Yeah. But it is supporting the bulls. Well, you know the the, the bulls are no longer operating uh, on the basis of uh, the indices. Uh, if you if you look at the character of the market in the last uh, f- several months, actually, the markets are not uh, fully understood. If you just look at the indices, uh, t- uh, because there is there are there are multifarious stories that are being scripted by individual stocks, uh, which uh, uh, which um, uh, make the, the the index story a complete outlier. Uh, even if you look at the specific stocks, you know, forget about today's market development, you will see that how there are many Indian companies which are actually bucking this trend uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, a, of a decline in, in, in the valuations. So companies that are uh, going out and uh, maintaining their earnings, uh, they will continue to do well in a market like this. So for stock pickers, uh, this is obviously becoming a more challenging task. Uh, you cannot just simply look at the index, uh, but uh, index is not a clear sign or or, 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 or or indicator to go in for your investments in the stock market. So, and how do you expect the rupee to behave going forward um, which declined against the U.S. currency. Today. Well, you know, the rupee will al- always uh, be uh, be responding to the uh, rupee will always be uh, responding to the the market's uh, uh, demand and supply situation of dollar. Uh, right now, the, as long as the crude oil prices remain elevated and exports uh, not coming back to its earlier robust growth levels, uh, rupee will remain under pressure. G. अब बात कर लेते हैं वैश्विक शेयर बाजारों की एशियाई शेयर बाजारों की बात करें तो अमेरिकी शेयर बाजारों में गिरावट के बाद आज एशियाई शेयर बाजारों में भी नरमी रही जापान के निकेई में 0.4 प्रतिशत और चीन के शंघाई कंपोजिट इंडेक्स में 0.3 प्रतिशत की गिरावट देखी गई हांगकांग का हैंगसेंग और दक्षिण कोरिया का कोस्पी दोनों 1.6 प्रतिशत के नुकसान में रहे सिंगापुर का स्ट्रेट्स टाइम सूचकांक 0.2 प्रतिशत की गिरावट के साथ बंद हुआ आर्थिक खबरों में बात करें तो चीन के औद्योगिक उत्पादन में नवंबर में पिछले वर्ष के मुकाबले 2.2 प्रतिशत की वृद्धि दर्ज हुई है हालांकि अक्टूबर के 5 प्रतिशत के मुकाबले यह काफी कम है चीन के सांख्यिकी ब्यूरो के अनुसार सर्विस सेक्टर में व्यापक स्तर पर कमजोरी के बीच खुदरा बिक्री में 5.9 प्रतिशत की गिरावट आई है मई के बाद यह सबसे अधिक गिरावट है ऑटोमोबाइल उत्पादन में भी नरमी देखने को मिली है अक्टूबर के 8.6 प्रतिशत के मुकाबले नवंबर में ऑटोमोबाइल क्षेत्र में 9.9 प्रतिशत की गिरावट दर्ज हुई यूरोपीय बाजारों की बात करें तो अंतरदेशीय कारोबार के दौरान आज लंदन के फुटसी 100 में 0.7 प्रतिशत का नुकसान देखा जा रहा था फ्रांस का कैक 1.2 प्रतिशत और जर्मनी का डेक्स 1.1 प्रतिशत की गिरावट में चल रहे थे यूरोप से आर्थिक खबरों की बात करें तो बैंक ऑफ इंग्लैंड ने ब्याज दरों में 0.5 प्रतिशत की वृद्धि की है ब्याज दरों में यह लगातार नौवीं बार वृद्धि की गई है on the Wall Street, key indices ended lower in volatile trading yesterday following a policy announcement by the Federal Reserve that raised interest rates by an expected 50 basis point, but its economic projections see higher rates for a longer period. Also, the central bank projected at least an additional 75 basis points of increase in borrowing costs by the end of 2023, as well as a rise in unemployment and a near stalling of economic growth. The Fed's latest quarterly summary of economic projections show U.S. central bankers see the policy rate now in the 4.25% to 4.5% range at 5.1% by the end of next year. In comments after the statement, Fed Chair Jeremy Powell said it was too soon to talk about cutting rates as the focus is on making the central bank's policy stance 
restrictive enough to push inflation down to its 2% goal. So the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 142 points or 0.4% to end at 33,966. The S&P 500 lost 24 points or 0.6% to close at 3,995. And the Nasdaq Composite dropped 86 points to 11,171. Meanwhile, U.S. Treasury yields were little changed to slightly lower in choppy trading after the Fed news. The yield on benchmark 10-year U.S. Treasuries rose two basis points to 3.481%. AKB, uh, analysts say looking at recession, which is looming large, the interest rates would have to come down. Well, uh, the the trade-off between growth uh, and inflation uh, is uh, playing out right now, uh, actually globally. Uh, whether you look at Europe or you look at the US or look at the Indian markets, and the trade-off will once again be played out even um, uh, when the the budget is going to be presented uh, in on February. Now, the question is uh, that uh, at what point does the central bank uh, start reducing interest rate, uh, ignoring the concerns of inflation. Uh, right now, it seems uh, that not just uh, in in the U.S. or uh, in England or Europe, so the European Central Bank, or even the Indian Central Bank, uh, the Indian Central Bank governors uh, recently said that his eyes are largely focused on inflation like Arjun's eyes were focused mm. on the bird right. that he going to mm. So therefore, it's very clear that inflation, uh, the monster of inflation, is a is a bigger challenge for the central banks globally, including uh, that in Sacrificing India. Sacrificing growth. It is uh, the growth is is a worry, but right now the bigger worry is inflation. The, the current numbers, the latest numbers on inflation, are a sign of hope. Uh, some uh, some hope that maybe the central bank in its next policy in February may take a fresh look at its stance uh, and uh, but then right now globally including in India central banks are worried about inflation more than they are worried about growth जी बट अच्छा जी चीन से जो आर्थिक आंकड़े सामने आ रहे हैं और सर्विस सेक्टर में व्यापक स्तर पर कमजोरी देखी गई है और खुदरा बिक्री में 5.9 प्रतिशत की गिरावट दर्ज की गई है मई के बाद ये सबसे अधिक गिरावट है चीन की अर्थव्यवस्था की जो आंकड़े आ रहे हैं ये किस तरफ का इशारा करते हैं क्या संकेत दे रहे हैं और अर्थव्यवस्था खासतौर पर वैश्विक अर्थव्यवस्था के लिए ये कितना चिंताजनक चीन का अर्थव्यवस्था में जो जो ये जो आंकड़े जो आ रहे हैं ये सिर्फ चीन के लिए एक समस्याजनक नंबर नहीं है पर सारे विश्व की अर्थनीति के लिए है अगर 2023 की अगर हम आउटलुक की ओर देखें तो ये चीन में जो जो नंबर जो आ रहे हैं इसके ये 2023 के ग्लोबल ग्रोथ प्रोस्पेक्ट्स के ऊपर काफी इम्पैक्ट करेगा और क्योंकि ये ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी में इफेक्ट करेगा जो भारत की जो एक्सपोर्ट्स जो है उसके ऊपर भी इनडायरेक्टली इसका प्रभाव आ सकता है तो हमें चीन की जो जो इकोनॉमिक जो ये ये नेशनल ग्रोथ की जो आपने बात की पांच प्रतिशत से दो पॉइंट दो प्रतिशत में आ गई है हालांकि उन्होंने काफी करेक्टिव स्टेप्स लिए हैं कोविड हाँ। मैनेजमेंट में इत्यादि में लिए हैं पर अभी भी वो समय नहीं आया है कि चीन आ, बहुत जोर से और कॉन्फिडेंटली कह सकता है कि वो कोविड के आ, चोट से पूरी तरह से वो बाहर आ गए हैं मूविंग ऑन द लिस्टेड कंपनीज हैड एम्प्लॉयड रिकॉर्ड 10 मिलियन एम्प्लॉयज इन 2021-22 अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिसर्च कंपनी सीएमआई Wages paid by the listed companies to its employees was of the order of 7 lakh rupees per employee. This is much higher than the average salary received by factory employees, which is close to 3 lakh rupees, or the average wages received by all salaried employees employed by listed or unlisted or big or small enterprises, according to CMIE's Consumer Pyramids Household Survey, which was two. 0.63 lakh rupees during 2021-22. Average wages paid by listed companies is more than twice the salaries paid by other enterprises. 
Listed companies are the bigger enterprises. These companies are bigger on average than the average ASI factory or the enterprises that the much larger set of enterprises in which the CPHS sample of the household members are employed. CPHS is a household survey. It does not contain information on the enterprises in which the household employees are employed. Therefore, it is not possible to link wage rates of the size of enterprises or the employers. The numbers are very encouraging. It's a good sign well, it's a, it's, post-pandemic. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's encouraging, yeah. it's encouraging uh, because if we should see that the pre-pandemic level of employment by the same CMI survey used to be around 9 lakh. So the, from 9 lakh, they have jumped to over 10 lakh. Uh, so which, which is, uh, which is a, uh, no, sorry, not million. Uh, 10 yeah, million. 10 million, I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. Nine mm-hmm. Mil- it yeah. used to be 9 million, mm-hmm. uh, and it has now crossed 10 million. Now, this is a positive sign, but at the same time, remember, these are all listed companies, so the top-end companies. So the, which means that if you look at the la- larger uh, uh, thing, where the quality of jobs has improved, but probably the, the the growth has happening at the upper end of the market, and there are uh, issues that need to be handled at uh, the lower end of the market, the smaller companies, the MSMEs, the small companies who m- probably may be under uh, continued stress. Or ab. अगली खबर एक्सिस बैंक ने 2 करोड़ रुपए से कम की सावधि जमाओं पर ब्याज दरों में बढ़ोतरी की है नई दरें तत्काल प्रभाव से लागू हो गई हैं बैंक ने इससे पहले 15 नवंबर 2022 को ब्याज दरों में वृद्धि की थी 6 से 9 माह की परिपक्वता अवधि वाली जमाओं पर ब्याज दर बढ़ाकर 5.75 फीसदी कर दी गई है 9 महीने से लेकर 1 साल से कम अवधि की जमाओं पर 6% ब्याज दे होगा एक वर्ष और दो वर्ष से कम की सावधि जमाओं पर 6.75 प्रतिशत की दर से ब्याज मिलेगा और अब रुक करते हैं अगली खबर का सरकार ने कहा है कि अंतरराष्ट्रीय स्तर पर कच्चे तेल की कीमतों में रिकॉर्ड उच्च स्तर वृद्धि के बावजूद इस वर्ष 6 अप्रैल से सार्वजनिक क्षेत्र की तेल विपणन कंपनियों ने पेट्रोल और डीजल के मूल्य में बढ़ोतरी नहीं की है पेट्रोलियम और प्राकृतिक गैस मंत्री हरदीप सिंह पुरी ने आज लोकसभा में यह जानकारी दी उन्होंने कहा कि देश अपनी कच्चे तेल की आवश्यकता का 85% से अधिक आयात करता है इसलिए देश में पेट्रोल और डीजल की कीमतें अंतरराष्ट्रीय बाजार पर निर्भर करती हैं the global crude oil prices fell today as the dollar firmed while the possibility of further increases to interest rates by global central banks also heightened demand concern so the Brent crude futures fell 69 cents to trade at 82.01 dollars a barrel us crude futures lost 79 cents to 76.49 dollars a barrel your quick views on where the rate of oil could be going well you know i think the oil uh, uh, international crude oil prices will remain range bound and move around this level uh, the earlier uh, the uncertainties and the problems that suddenly came up because of the cap decision on the russian crude oil uh, they ag- seem to be getting sorted out uh, i don't see the crude oil prices skyrocket or go up they will remain range bound in the same as stagnant mm-hmm. uh, which is a uh, uh, cause for great relief uh, for uh, the indian markets because india are depending on the crude oil international crude oil crude oil to a great extent almost 85 percent of the imports are made by it and as uh, the minister pointed out that uh, in as part of the government's inflation management strategy the government had not allowed the 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 oil refiners not to raise the retail prices even though they were incurring losses so that uh, has helped in that sense बात करते हैं कीमती धातुओं की कमजोर वैश्विक रुझानों के बीच दिल्ली सराफा बाजार में सोना आज 420 रुपए सस्ता होकर 54554 रुपए प्रति 10 ग्राम के स्तर पर आ गया चांदी भी 879 रुपए टूटकर 68254 रुपए प्रति किलोग्राम रही ठीक है भी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग विद अस एंड थ्रोइंग लाइट ऑन वेरियस स्टोरीज एंड बिफोर वी क्लोज द हेडलाइंस वंस अगेन at the stock market, Sensex slides 879 points, Nifty drops 245 points. Listed companies employ a record 10 million employees in 2021-22, shows CMIE's survey. An Axis Bank raises fixed deposit interest rates across all maturities for amounts up to 2 crore rupees. That's all we have in this edition of Market Mantra. Till tomorrow, goodbye. Namaskar. Oh,
Oh, <laughs> oh,